Now to a great double act. We speak to the Russian author Mikhail Shishkin and the German translator Andreas Tretner about Shishkin's prize-winning novel and the complicated process of translating it. Writing is a struggle against words. To translate is to attempt the impossible. The writer and his translator creating a universe word by word. Mikhail Shishkin is one of Russia's most renowned writers. But celebrated as he is at home, his novels are still relatively little known internationally. Venyerin Volos, Maiden Hair in English, is a bestseller in Russia. Now Germans can also read the novel, Venus Ha, thanks to Andreas Tretner. Berlin's Haus der Kulturen der Welt has honored the two with its International Literature Award. Over 15 years ago, love prompted Mikhail Shishkin to leave Moscow and move to Zurich in Switzerland. He left behind family and friends and immersed himself in a new culture. Russian authors need stories. Russian stories, and they require a certain tension. The atmosphere in Prussia and Russia is completely different. Switzerland is such a boring country, nothing ever happens. I had no idea what I should write about here in Switzerland. But then I got a job as an interpreter for the Zurich Immigration Office, and suddenly I was surrounded by Russian stories again. Maidenhair is a tale of refugees from the former Soviet Union and their destinies. They've experienced torture and rape, but to the Swiss bureaucrats dealing with their cases, their lives are merely paperwork. The interrogations begin at 8 in the morning. Everyone's still grumpy, tired and droopy. The bureaucrats, the police officers, the asylum seekers. The ones who want to be asylum seekers, I should say, for the time being, they're just applicants. When there's a woman sitting in front of you, telling you how her son's nails were ripped out, it's something you can't forget. It would be great if we worked the same way computers do and you could just hit delete. But you can't delete these experiences. They stay with you for the rest of your life. Far from hitting delete, Shishkin has committed these experiences to paper, word for word. But how much of his novel is fact and how much fiction? The line between the two is often blurred. The refugee stories merge with accounts of an ancient battle or the diary entries of a Russian singer. The novel is a patchwork of past and present, real and imagined. But how do you translate that? It's a novel you can get lost in, like a thick Russian forest. I knew I would have to enter into its spirit, that it would be an uphill struggle, that it would be all or nothing, just as it was for the author. Tretner spent nine months working on the German translation. His task was to create a text with a life of its own that still captured the tone of the original. A skilled translator must have an eye for detail and can't afford to be vain. The biggest risk with the translation is that it ends up sounding too much like the translator's own voice, that it reflects his taste and doesn't adapt to the author's style. He has to step into someone else's shoes. A translator needs to be a bit of a chameleon. Tretner has been translating contemporary Russian literature for 25 years. But this was the first time that he had worked with an author who is himself bilingual. He was right there, and read, and had an opinion on every single sentence I tried to translate. But he also knew when to back off, let go, and entrust his baby to me. I kept saying to Andreas, should we leave this out? Should we not bother with this? And he kept saying, no, 
Let's try and do it. <laughs> what Shishkin and Tretna have in common is the quest to find the right words, and now they share a literary prize. One that this richly textured, powerful novel well deserves, in Russian and in German.